Hi guys and welcome to today's video or today's mental knot I should say. I actually had really big plans for this video of asking you guys about situations that are going on in your life and you know just kind of giving you my advice, my two cents as your internet mother, um, but I don't know. I don't know if it's in the stars, if it's in the air, but I feel like we're all kind of going through the same thing right now and it all comes down to basically change or like renewal, whether it's you know starting a school year, going back to school, if it's starting a new job, something going on in your personal life. I just feel like we're all kind of in the same bubble. We're in the same realm and it's kind of scary. It's kind of a lot. I've done really good lately with reassessing myself and I say that with caution because literally two days from now I'm due for a mental breakdown so we'll see. I just really want to sit down and talk to you guys. I really love these mental knots. You know we have fun, we kiki, we hate people, we love people, whatever it may be but these personal like one-on-one -on -one videos are kind of my favorite because it's like it's just us. I want to give you my three pillars of advice. The three main things that I think you need to know on this new journey of change. It's something that's been helping me, so I really hope it helps you out as well. First pillar of advice that I have for you guys is to be honest. And I know that sounds so silly because it's like, duh. But I think it's one of the hardest things to do, especially with yourself. I think for me personally, I have always kind of been honest with myself, but I've been honest to the point where it almost kind of scares me or I almost choose not to listen to it. I think if you're honest with yourself about how you're feeling, why you're feeling that way, maybe where it comes from, it kind of can help you figure out why you are almost in your own way of success. Why you're in your own way of trying to achieve the things that are going to make you happy. Why are you self-sabotaging? Let's get into it. Why are you self-sabotaging? Hmm? Oh, because you think that you don't deserve happiness or success? Oh, because you're scared of failure? Oh! Same. Me. Me as f I have learned, and this is something that I personally am really trying to get over, my fear of failure is the reason that I'm going to fail. You fail because you're not trying. And a lot of the times with me, it's because, you know, I see people who maybe have it not necessarily easier, but like they get it easier or it just comes naturally to them. And it's like, girl, I'm trying so hard. Like, this is me trying, you know? Like, if you get that song, I am so sorry. But something that I have learned through like my time on YouTube especially is, um, you know, sometimes it's okay to not have the easiest path. Or sometimes it's okay not to have the fastest path because on that path, you do have that time to be able to learn about yourself, to grow, to experience everything without so much pressure on yourself. And I think if you just allow yourself to feel all the feelings that you're feeling and be honest with yourself about what's going on, assess it and move on, you are going to be a much better and happier person. And on top of that, once you learn how to do that with your yourself, your thoughts, your body, learn how to do that with other people. Because my biggest thing um, <laughs> I have, again, She's always going. This bitch up here yaps and yaps and yaps and yaps. And sometimes I'm like, what are you even saying? What are you even talking about? Shut up. It's not that serious. And I know it's not that serious. That's part of the anxiety though. That's a whole other story. Because I know how my brain works sometimes, I do give in to what it is saying or I overanalyze something or I overthink something. In my field specifically, it is such a social thing and I've been going to more social events where it's like, I just have to be honest with people about how I'm feeling because if I come off a certain way or I'm in the way of myself and they're thinking like, oh, does she not like me? Or like, you know what I mean? Like the vibes can get mistranslated because there's just no honesty and it's really scary. It's really scary to be vulnerable with people, but I did that recently with someone who like, I'm kind of in a new friendship with, and I was just like, hey, it's not you, it's me. <laughs> kind of a thing like, I'm sorry I'm this way, or I thought this way. Um, I'm just laying it all out there. This is what's going on in my head. And they were just like, oh, why? Like, we're good, you're good don't do that. And I'm like, you're right. Let me not do that. <laughs> but to build that honesty with people is so important, especially have 
being in friendships where that honesty or that space where you can have that conversation is not there. And if you feel like you can't have those conversations with people or yourself, then there needs to be work. There needs to be something that needs to be changed. And that's just the bottom line. Be honest with yourself, be honest with other people, allow yourself that environment, allow yourself that space to grow. And you know, if you're in a space where you don't feel like that can work or you try it and it doesn't work, get the hell out of it. I sound like SZA's grandma, but you know what? She made some points. People are always talking, but what happens when the talk isn't cheap? And it is what it is. Second pillar of advice that I have for you for a successful changeover is honestly just to be open to it and to say yes. That has been my thing this year. That was my, I don't really like doing New Year's resolutions. Honestly, that's a whole other topic in itself. Let's just get into it real quick. I kind of hate New Year's and I kind of hate New Year's resolutions because you know, it's a lot of time of reflecting and I've never felt like, this is actually so sad, but I've never felt like when I get to like New Year's and I reflect back, I'm never satisfied because I feel like I don't ever do what I want to do. Like, I don't feel like there's been huge change. And then the last couple years specifically have been so depressing and so dark and so sad that by the time I get to New Year's, I'm just like, Fuck that year. I hated everything about it. I want it to be better. And then like other things were happening. So it, it was a really scary place for a couple years. And if you're in a position like that right now, I am so sorry, but I'm telling you, it will get better, you will get through it. You will see the light at the end of the tunnel. I promise, just hold on, hang in there. Be positive, be delusional. And yeah. what gave you the confidence? Um, delusion. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I tell people, especially when you have dreams or aspirations, you almost have to be delusional to make it happen. It started off as a joke that I would always say like with concert tickets, I always say if there's a will, there's a way. And if I wanna to go to that show, I'm gonna to go to that show. And it kind of has helped and it's kind of worked because every time I've said that for a concert, I've been able to figure out how to go. I did manage to get tickets for the Friday show. So now I have fast times to LA and fast times to Mesa. Say less. And I'm gonna tell them that I actually have SZA tickets for them. We are on our way to go see Olivia. Don't ask how this happened. Honestly, I have a saying when it comes to concerts. If there is a will, there is a way, and I will be there. And I've been kind of doing that with my career. And it's almost, I guess, not even being delusional. It's almost like manifesting. And I really think, you know, law of attraction, if you put out that energy, not only are things gonna come to you, but people. So being open to any of those experiences and saying yes, which is what my original point was, that was my new year's resolution, was to say yes to things. Not to say no, because I'm scared of it, because something good could happen, or because I have body issues or whatever, and I'm just like, I don't wanna be around people who are pretty and skinny, especially because in my field, it's all influencers. Like I'm going to, I think this will be out by the time I go, but I'm actually going to Olivia's concert in California because I'm doing something with Hot Topic, which in itself is crazy. But I was so afraid of it the more I thought about it because I was like, I'm gonna be in a little box full of these skinny pretty influencers and I'm gonna feel like the big fucking hag, <laughs> you know, where it's like, I shouldn't even be here. But I still said yes, because it's a great opportunity. I get to go to a show, I'm gonna have fun, like, who who cares if you don't feel skinny? Who cares if this person like can put on makeup better than you? Who cares? Who, who cares? cares? You're gonna say no because of these silly little things that are not going to matter? What? Like, that's so stupid, but I have done that to myself, not even in career, like, going out with someone or like doing stuff with friends, I have said no because of some silly little fear. And it's like, girl, who cares? Who cares? Let me pretend I care. Okay, I'm done. And honestly, the more you do it and the more you like face your fear with it, the more comfortable you're going to be. And the more you're going to look back at it and be like, why did I even care to begin with? Like my biggest thing has always been, um, <laughs> we'll just be vulnerable, has been my skin. I don't 
feel like I have the best skin. Um, I had a lot of like acne issues when I was a teenager. I have scarring, texture, unevenness, whatever. And that is like kind of an insecurity of mine. And for the longest time, you know, like when I would get on camera, I wouldn't even film without seven pounds of makeup on. And now I'm just wearing a tinted moisturizer. Or sometimes I do like my sponsors without makeup. And you guys don't care. I can't even sit here and be like, yeah, I get comments and I just try to ignore them. Literally no one has said anything because no one cares. Or at least you guys are just a great audience. And if that's the case, thank you, thank you. Bless you. <laughs> but it's just the point of like, just do it. Do, <laughs> Nike, maybe you're onto something with that. Just say yes, just do it. Don't let your fears take over your life because there are so many times that I look back and I'm like, why did I let myself not do that? Hindsign, hindsign, exactly. Hindsight is definitely 2020, but I don't know. I just, I really think as you get older, you learn how to trust yourself more. And it's just like, you know, time is so limited, not to get so deep, but because I've experienced so many like family deaths in the last couple of years, I'm so at the point of like, why waste any more time? I actually, I can't say with who, but I was with somebody, we were doing something that hopefully you'll see soon on their channel. Ooh, 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 teaser. So I was with them and their manager and we were, you know, we were at a little little diner, we were eating, whatever. And we talked about just things that were going on in our life. And someone said, it is important to update your lore. And that has really stuck with me because in that moment I was like, oh my God, I don't have any fun lore. Like the last couple years, I don't have fun lore to make like fun stories out of. Like, do we wanna talk about all the depressive episodes? All the anxiety attacks? I got you. But like these cute little fun stories that make me a person and make me fun to be around? I don't have that. Like when I think a lot of my lore, it's like a lot of embarrassing things, which obviously is fun, but a lot of it is from when I was younger or like in the past and I'm like, wait, I gotta update my lore. And that might sound silly because it's like, I've been doing a lot of things um, career wise, but personally it's like, that's just as important. If you're like me and you just work a lot or you're always constantly thinking about work or you're stressing about work or whatever it may be, we gotta slow down, babe. You know, it's not good for our health, it's not good for our mental and it's not good for our lore. Because who am I gonna sit down and talk to for five hours about work? Oh, that's no. In the sense that, no. you know what I mean? Like, but No one cares, no one asked. I don't want that to be my defining thing of my job. It is really cool, it is really fun. But when I talk to people who maybe don't get my world or are in a different financial situation than me, it's not really fun to talk about. Basically, I'm saying do something just for the plot. <laughs> but really, say yes, because you never know, like, what that will turn out to be. For example, I was a part or am a part, that's a whole long story of like new things coming out, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But I was a part of the group Creators for Palestine and I was so happy to be a part of it. I loved being a part of it. I loved doing everything that we did. But when I signed up for the group, I knew there was that possibility of um, doing a whole live stream once we reached one of our goals. And at the time when I signed up, it's like, okay, I'll worry about that later. Cause again, I was worried like, I'm gonna be around all these like really pretty people and who are thinner than me or prettier than me or funnier than me or no people. I was really kind of freaked out about doing it. And when the time came and it was like, okay, you know, we have a space, we're gonna do it at the Try Guys studio. This is the day, who wants to do it? I actually sat on it for two days of like, one, do I take my ass out to California to do it? But two, should I even do it? And I actually sat there and weighed the pros and the cons of like doing it, staying home, blah, 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 blah. And at the end of the day, I was like, what am I doing? Like the more I thought about it and the more I overworked it in my head, the more I was like, 
Am I dumb? Dear <laughs> dumb ass. This is a live stream to help people in need. And I'm sitting here freaking out about the stupidest shit. Perspective, bitch. Come the f on. I was kind of worried about it. I knew Trin was going to be there. So I was like, okay, I have a friend. You know, like I won't be completely alone, which honestly was like a huge booster of me actually going and saying yes. But because I went, I met other people and found out like other people know my content who I love or who I watch or who I want to become friends with. And that opened up that door to have those friendships, to have those conversations. And it's like, if I didn't say yes, like how different would that have been? Because a lot of those friendships or a lot of the people I met at that live stream, I got to see at VidCon and that made that experience so much better. So it's like, you really never know what saying yes can lead to. I'm Trin, I do movie commentaries. Hi, my name is Ashley and I also do movie commentaries. And together, we're gonna, we're gonna win, win this, this challenge. challenge. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Wow. Move your hips in a motion, round and round and round. Okay. What are you doing? Oh. Oh my god, what is this called? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh what my god. What is this called? It's think, the circular thing. Think of Hawaiians. Oh. Uh, hula dancing? No. The H hula hoop. Yeah! Hula hoop! Yes. Hula hoop. <laughs> and then don't look at the oh. screen. You're gonna kind of hunch over and then kind of um, put like... Oh, how do I describe this? So... <laughs> so you know how, like how a cat uh, stretches? Yes. And then you're kind of gonna. <laughs> I'm stuck here. <laughs> I know. I know. Um, and then you're kind of gonna go back to where you were, and then do it again. I'm twerking. <laughs> kind of. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Something um, with your mouth. I'm sorry. The time went off, guys. Oh, I know. I can't describe that. You were throwing up. Yeah, you were throwing oh up. Oh my god, I'm twerking with my say. mouth. <laughs> I was planning things, working on things that are hopefully coming next year. And it's really scary. And it's kind of a lot to take in. If it happens, I'm really excited about it. And I think it'll be a really good opportunity. So, and it's something I've always wanted to do. But now that it's here, I'm like, ooh, maybe I shouldn't do it. And I still kind of think that, where I'm like, maybe I should just, mm. but no, it's almost like if it scares you, you need to do it. And I know I'm taking a really long time on this pillar, but that's because this is the one that has affected me so much. Oh my God. What was it? The Instagram live stream where I partnered with VidCon and me and Kevin did a live stream for VidCon just to promote it, play games. Head over to VidCon.com to get your tickets and join us if you haven't already. Do it now or you're fired. <laughs> I just spoke to all your managers at work and your school teachers. If you don't do it right now, you're getting banned from school fired from your job and your credit score is gonna go down 800 points so not serious so incredibly fun but i was like should i, should do, I it? do it i don't know i don't know, I don't know I don't kevin. Know kevin i don't, I don't do, do live streams, streams like this that whatever i almost said no because of like the unknown but then i said yes did it had a great time found out that i kind of like doing live streams if that's something you guys are interested in let me know made a friend because i saw kevin at vidcon and it was such a good vibe. <laughs> How are you? That's so funny. I'm like, I can't even see the fuck that is. Dude, you're a taller in person. I know. You're taller than you like 6'8". <laughs> God damn. That's my fiance, I leave. There's nothing bad about saying yes. Just do it. Just do it. And the last pillar of advice for a successful change that I have for you is to trust your own gut. And it's kind of funny because I was just talking about like, don't listen to your mind of like, you shouldn't do this or you can't do this or this or whatever. You have to trust your gut of what you think is going to be right for you. Whether that is a career change or maybe going to a different school or maybe taking up a new class or maybe dumping somebody or like, you know, making new friends. You just have to understand that that gut feeling, that gut reaction, that instinct is there for a reason. And it's okay to listen to it. You know, your gut may tell, may be telling you to do something while your brain is like weighing out the options. And it's like, no, 
my gut is telling me that I need to do this. I need to shut her off and listen to what's going on. Can you not? As much as my anxiety takes a control over my life or I sit here and weigh out pros and cons, I'm going to murder him. Hold on. Deep down, I know what I need to do or what I want to do. It's just, it's hard to listen to it. And I completely understand that and I get it. But it's like, I know if I want to achieve the things that I want to achieve or if I want to live a better life, I need to do these things. And I don't need to be so logical with all of it. Some things don't need me to make a pro and con list out of. Some things are just the way that they are and you just need to do it. And that's okay. And I know a lot of the times if you do listen to that, to what you're feeling or what you're thinking, it's scary because it does bring on change or it brings on some situations that, you know, are unknown or just scary because you don't know if it's gonna work out or not. But most of the time, those are the times that those situations are like the best thing you could have done. That leap of faith that you take is what you need to do in life sometimes. To achieve what you want to achieve, to live a better life, to just be the person that you've always dreamed about being. I know that's so corny. Ugh. Disgusting! It is about those hard moments. It is about those transitional periods that make you into the person that you are. So just trust your gut when you know, you know, something that you're doing is right and someone's telling you like, hey, you know, maybe don't do that or Maybe do this, maybe do that. Obviously listen to advice, that's never a bad thing to do, but at the end of the day, if you know that is the best thing for you, you need to do it. And I know it's easier said than done. I know it's like, okay, Ashley, whatever, like you're in a different position than me, but I was in the same position like when I started my channel. I don't remember how much I had in my savings, but <laughs> I went to YouTube full time and drained my savings because I was like, I'm gonna give this my all. And now, you know, being able to go through that hardship, I'm in a position where I do live on my own and I'm able to go do things that I wanna do. Like, I'm living that life that if you had told me I was living when I first started YouTube, I would've never believed you. I've been like, what? You can't even get past 10 subscribers. And you're going to VidCon as a VidCon grader? That's some bullshit, but it's not. Because I trusted my gut. And as I transitioned, I started to say yes. I continue to be honest with myself and with other people on what I was feeling, what I was experiencing. Did we have a lot of hard times? Yes. Did we have a lot of low points? God, yes. <laughs> we have to take multiple mental breaks. Yes, because at the end of the day, I understand that I am a girly with mental illness and that's okay. People who don't have mental illness, how do you do that? Like you're just living life. You're not second guessing everything. You're not feeling insecure about everything. You don't need two days to tell yourself to do something. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. oh. These three pillars have really helped me um, recently in my life and I hope that they help you. I hope I wasn't just talking out of my ass this whole time and just like only saying things that applied to me. I'm trying to give the best advice I can. I'm basically in real life giving you advice and ending LOL. <laughs> like I'm putting that at the end of the message. So it's like, if it doesn't work out, it's not my fault. But with that, that's pretty much everything that I have to say. I'll see you next time for Mental Knot. Next video probably won't be as yappy. <laughs> Maybe it will be a little more fun. Who knows? Um, but I love you guys a lot. And uh, I'll see you next time. Take care of yourself and have a great day or night, or evening, or whatever, or don't. You know what, and that's up to you. Bye. This is a whole video in itself of me just trying to film with my cat while he's on Zoomies. While he's on Zoomies, exactly.